What should you know about Moonbirds? Hi there, my name is Brian Collins. Welcome to the NFT Brief. I'm a big fan of the Moonbirds NFT project. I'm such a big fan that I actually bought in. In this video, I'm going to explain exactly what Moonbirds is, what it does, and why it's a potential blue chip NFT. But of course, please remember the content in this video is for informational purposes only. I'm not a fan financial advisor. NFTs, including Moonbirds, are incredibly risky and they could go to zero. So please do your own research. I hope you enjoy this profile. If you do, hit thumbs up. And if you want to get more NFT profiles like this, then don't forget to subscribe to the NFT Brief. Moonbirds is a picture for profile collection. There are 10,000 NFTs in this collection. It was one of the biggest mints of 2022. It minted all the way back in April of 2022, just before crypto and NFT winter kicked off. Now, the Moonbirds NFT collection exists on the Ethereum blockchain. The NFTs are almost entirely on chain. So originally they were hosted via IPFS, but now because they're entirely on chain, you don't need to worry about losing your NFT if somebody forgets to pay their server bills. So the Moonbirds collection is part of the proof ecosystem of NFTs. So there are four collections within the proof ecosystem, give or take. So Moonbirds is the, I suppose, the primary collection, you know, it's kind of like Board Ape Yacht Club. There are 10,000 NFTs and it's what you'll use for your Web3 identity. The other primary collection, which actually uh, predated Moonbirds, is the Proof Collective. So this is basically a pass for getting access to generative art. And I've other videos on the channel where I profile some generative art collections. So there are just a thousand items in this collection. And it's basically a membership also for a Discord or DAO. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like for Moonbirds in a few moments. Now, Moonbirds is still quite expensive, even though it has dipped somewhat in floor price. So there is a child project which could represent a cheaper entry point into the proof ecosystem. That's called Moonbirds Oddities. And this was released for Moonbirds holders in May of 2022. Again, there are 10,000 items in this collection. Uh, however, it has a much cheaper floor price at 1.38. ETH. Now, Moonbirds was created by Kevin Rose, who is the founder of Dig, and also by designer Justin Mezel. And the artwork was designed in part by Gremlin. And they've also worked with other NFT artists like Xcopy to create backgrounds for your Moonbird. And I'll show you some examples of those in a few moments. So Moonbirds had an astonishing rise. It was the biggest mint of 2022 or alongside, or the most hyped mint of 2022, alongside Memeland, which I also profile on this channel. So the floor price shot up to an astonishing 31.54 ETH, just before crypto and NFT winter. So that was nearly a six figure collection. While analyzing Moonbirds, I came across some big rare sales that took place from the collection earlier on this year. Perhaps one of the biggest sales was of the rarest Moonbird, 1729. So this has legendary feathers, so rare moonbirds tend to have legendary feathers. And this particular moonbird sold for 80 ETH back in April of 2022, so right before crypto and NFT winter. That was over of a quarter of a million dollars. I also found this moonbird, so this is moonbird 4089. Again, it has a similar uh, type of trait, legendary brave feathers. Uh, this Moonbird also reminded me of Spirit Azuki NFTs, which also tend to sell for six figures. Anyway, this particular NFT sold for 48 eat uh, four months ago. So that was during crypto and NFT winter. And that would have worked out at approximately $75,000. So as you can see, Moonbirds continues to be an exceptionally valuable collection. In August of 2022, Kevin Rose announced that Moonbirds was going Creative Commons Zero or No Rights Reserved. Other projects that are Creative Commons Zero or No Rights Reserved include Anonymous and Cryptodes, which I profile on this channel. And interestingly, the artist behind Cryptodes also works on Moonbirds. That's Gremlin. Creative Commons Zero basically means you can use an NFT any way you wish, including for commercial use. So it's moving beyond using legal frameworks to manage the copyright artwork and so on. Specifically, Kevin said CC Zero empowers anyone with the ability to creatively remix work for commercial purposes. He said it's a promise by the creator of a work that the work itself can become a credibly neutral platform without restraint or the fear of restriction or creative limitations. Now, Creative Commons Zero, in my opinion, is in the spirit of what NFTs should do. Ownership is verified by the blockchain and you can do what you like with your NFT. However, not every holder of Moonbirds was happy and the floor price did dip somewhat after this announcement. However, it's also fair to say that it's difficult to attribute this specifically to the CC0 announcement, 
because at the time the NFT market was trending downwards in terms of floor price for blue chip collections and in terms of trading volume. The best place to learn about Moonbirds and the wider Proof ecosystem is on Proof.xyz. So you can learn about the three communities, all of which are closed unless you own the NFTs. So Moonbirds, Oddities and Proof Collective. And you can also learn about Grails, the three seasons of Grails, which are basically passes for minting generative art. Now for the purposes of this video, I'm going to focus mostly on Moonbirds and Oddities. Specifically, you can get real-time stats on what's happening with the Moonbirds collection. So currently, at the time of recording, there are 6,561 unique holders. That's not bad, so it basically means that most people tend to own one of them. There are 9,408 nested Moonbirds. Nesting basically means that you stake your Moonbird rather than try and flip it. And you can win awards in the form of other NFTs and also prizes from the Proof ecosystem. It's kind of like what Memeland are doing with the Captains and the Potatoes. And you, from what I understand, some Lucky Moonbirds holders actually won a Grails Season Pass, which they were able to, able to use to mint some crypto art, which was subsequently worth between 2 and 3 ETH. So you can see the average nesting period, how long people are holding their Moonbird for, and some of the awards that they have won within the Proof ecosystem as well. And you can also find other Moonbirds who are on Twitter who you may potentially want to follow. When Moonbirds minted back in April of 2022, I felt a sense of FOMO as it shot up to 31 ETH because I could have minted one and I didn't. Since then, the floor price has dipped, as I mentioned previously, to 8 ETH. Still a lot of money to spend on an NFT. But because I'm keen on Moonbirds, I did actually go ahead and purchase one. Now, that's not financial advice. Who's to say what will happen with Moonbirds? But because I purchased one, I was able to get access to their Discord community. So this is one of the key differences between Proof, Moonbirds and other NFT collections. The Discord or DAO or Decentralized Autonomous Organization is entirely closed. In other words, you can't go in and see what it's like inside unless you own one of the NFTs. But because I own one of the NFTs, I can show you or give you a sneak peek about what you can expect inside of the Discord. If you own a Moonbirds NFT, then you're part of the Decentralized Autonomous Organization. All of that is managed inside of the Moonbirds Discord via parliaments and sub-parliaments. They're basically Discord channels related to different aspects of the project and the Proof ecosystem. So the first thing you're going to have to do is verify that you own a Moonbird NFT. Then once you've done that, you can use the announcements channels to keep up with what's happening with the Proof ecosystem as a whole, with Moonbirds, with the podcast that Kevin hosts, with artists that the Proof team regularly collaborates with. You can also get information about updates related to the uh, Proof products. So for example, nesting, the website and so on. You can learn about uh, real world events. And Moonbirds does have a, or should I say Proof, does have a conference plan for May of 2022. You can also learn about official collaborations and community collaborations. Like I said, Moonbirds is Creative Commons Zero, so the community is building around it. Now specifically for Moonbirds, uh, you can get highlights about what's happening with the project over the past week. So Kevin Rose and the team do host a weekly uh, chat on Discord for Moonbirds holders where you can talk to them and you can ask them about the direction of Moonbirds. You can also chat to other Moonbirds holders. So because it's closed or a closed Discord community, you're not gonna find many scammers here. So you can see I posted that I got a Moonbird finally and I got a reaction and I was told welcome to the nest. Uh, you can also get early access to the podcast uh, which Kevin hosts. You can submit proposals related to the DAO because you're a Moonbirds holder. That's a little bit similar to how a Nouns operates. On another video on the channel, I do profile the Nouns NFT project. And I think this is fantastic because if you own an NFT, you should get a say in how the project itself is evolving. Now the Moonbirds team also uh, regularly research what's happening with other NFTs in the space. Because it's part of the Proof ecosystem, there's a heavy focus on crypto and generative art and artists who work on those types of projects. So you can, spec you can expect some generative artists to actually be in the Proof ecosystem. Um, there tend to be PDFs and reports that you can read too. And NFT Influencer NFT Stats uh, contributes regularly with his analysis of what's happening in the market. There's a section for trading uh, your NFTs. Uh, if you do decide to trade NFTs, just, you know, I always recommend using a, uh, firstly, a hardware wallet to keep your NFTs safe, and I'm very wary of over-the-counter trades, so do exercise your own due diligence. Uh, anyway, you can also talk about in-real-world events. There are sections for networking, 
You can promote your own content. So perhaps when I record this video, I'll put it here so the Moonbirds team will share it. Uh, and you can also join the sub parliaments uh, where you can talk to people who speak different languages or in their different parts of the world. Uh, there are bots for keeping track of blue chip sales across the entire NFT market. So not just Moonbirds. There's also a bot for keeping track of proof passes sales. So you can see here this proof pass sold for 27 eat uh, yesterday. Uh, you can also keep track of sales for the Grails crypto art NFTs uh, and Moonbird sales as well as Oddity sales. And then finally, there's a section for support and for suggestions and an archive as well. So it's quite a well organized Discord versus other Discords I've been in. And that may be in part because it's an entirely closed Discord. It's a DAO rather than a public community. So it's a great place, I suppose, if you're interested in crypto art, generative art, or the Moonbirds PFP project. And if you, it's also a great place if you want to chat to, you know, NFT influencers like NFT Stats and Kevin as well, because they're regularly, you know, hosting spaces and events for Moonbirds holders. The Proof team are currently working on a couple of different NFT collections. One is codenamed High Rise and the details of that are sparse. But another airdrop that's imminent is called Mythics. So basically Mythics is going to be a new, cheaper NFT within the Proof ecosystem. So if you own an Oddities NFT, and these were designed by Gremlin, my understanding is that you'll be able to burn one of these for a Mythics NFT within the Proof ecosystem. Similarly, if you own a Moonbirds NFT, then you will receive a Mythics NFT airdropped into your wallet. And according to Gogola, who has listened to a lot of the uh, Moonbirds spaces and events in the Discord, there are, the final supply will be 20,000 and not all oddities will be burned. I mentioned previously that Moonbirds is Creative Commons zero or no rights reserved. So if you fancy picking up a Moonbird and you want to use it for commercial use, well then you just simply log in to proof.xyz, you create your account, and then you can download the images, vector art, and so on that you need uh, to use your Moonbird in any way that you wish. And also if you transfer your Moonbirds NFT on chain, because originally they were not entirely on chain, they were, I suppose, hosted via IPFS, if you do that, then you'll get custom backgrounds that you can use for your Moonbird. And these were designed or created by Xcopy. And fun fact, if you own an Xcopy uh, piece, specifically a Max Payne piece, you get a custom background that you could use for your Moonbird. So you can make it a little bit more rare or potentially a little bit more valuable. There's also information about your nesting rewards inside of the proof dashboard as well. And you can get specific metrics about the property of your Moonbird. But what about the future of Moonbirds? Well, firstly, in Q1 of 2023, we can expect the Mythics airdrop that I talked about. The Proof team are also working on a project called High Rise and details of that are sparse. There are also two pieces of news which are indicative of where the Moonbirds NFT collection and the Proof ecosystem is going. Another piece of news related to the future of Moonbirds was announced in July 2022. So Kevin announced that, that the team had acquired Ethereum NFT team Divergence. So this is basically a London-based team that initially worked on the smart contracts for Moonbirds. So then the Proof team decided to go ahead and buy this Web3 startup so that they could work directly on, I suppose, Moonbirds and the Proof ecosystem of NFTs for the long term. Evan Rose is also the host of the popular NFT podcast, Proof. I recommend listening to Proof if you want to keep up with what's happening in the NFT space. On a recent episode of Proof, he talked about how he wants to grow Moonbirds into a brand that lives long after the team have worked on it. Kind of like what Yuga Labs are doing with Bored Ape Yacht Club. Now to do that specifically, Kevin Rose and the team have signed a deal with United Talent Agency. And the, I suppose the goal of this deal, according to this Twitter thread, is to focus on partnerships that extend Moonbirds far beyond their Web3 audience. In other words, far beyond NFT holders, NFT flippers, and those who are already in the space. He talks about how the United Talent Agency deal means that they'll be able to tap into 1,400 plus people uh, who work across film, television, music, video games, sports, books, and so on. So basically, this represents uh, how the Proof team are going big on building the Moonwards brand over the next few years, and hopefully you'll be able to compete with projects like Board Ape Yacht Club, Mutant Ape Yacht Club, and the CryptoPunks. According to various updates in the Moonbird Discord and on Twitter, the team has raised over $60 million in venture capital to build the brand. And that doesn't take into account money it's generated from creator royalties and from the initial mint. 
And they've also committed 2.6 million to grow brand partnerships and develop products. So I guess the deal with United Talent Artists would represent part of that. Clearly Moonbirds is a PFP NFT project that has big ambitions. The question is, will it be able to keep up or compete with Board AP Yacht Club for the long term? They've certainly committed enough resources and enough people to it. Now, personally, I'm a fan of Moonbirds. However, whether it succeeds or not does depend on factors outside of the Moonbirds ecosystem. We need the NFT market to recover firstly, and secondly, we need more people to get into the space, not just early NFT G-Gens, holders and flippers. So I hope you enjoyed this profile of the Moonbirds NFT and it gives you a bit more insights and information about why people talk about it and why it's considered a potential future blue chip. If you do like this profile, let me know in the comment section below. And if you feel like I missed something, please also let me know and I'll add it to an additional video. And if you want to get more NFT project profiles like this, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel.